Long before now was a time known as the Stone Age. Then the people that existed used stones as a means of calculation. There was no form of calculator. And this preferred the idea of abacus. Have you ever set your eyes on an abacus? Abacus uses beads and stones on wooden, metal or stone tablets. It is the oldest form of computer. Computers have been in existence before now. They've existed in different forms and with time have become as we can see now. Today, we'll be discussing the first generation of computers and we'll also be looking into the limitations of the first generation of computers. As far back as 1946, there was no best way of storing instructions and data in computer memory. Though they had the digital computers using electronic valves, vacuum tubes, which are known as first generation computers. They were in use from 1946 to 1954, but the vacuum tubes consume a lot of power. Although these computers were good, they had limitations. First, they were large in size, slow in processing and had less storage capacity and were not so accurate and reliable. So, in today's lesson, we've been able to discuss the first generation of computers and how it emerged. We said that the vacuum tube was developed by Lee De Forest in 1908. Hope you enjoyed today's lesson. See you in the next class.